Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here. In today's video, we are going over things quickly, very, very quickly. So, um, it is actually reported that um, SBF is still set to speak at an upcoming event, which is shocking. Uh, Bitcoin uh, worth 1.5 billion was withdrawn from Coinbase in 48 hours. Um, CZ said, some including me say that this will set the industry back a few years, but thinking about it, this is natural. There will be failures with progress happen in regulated trade fine 2008 after 70 plus years of development the industry will recover quickly and become stronger cz i think is really showing um his true colors in all of this i think that he intentionally wants to take down other big exchanges he wants to be the top dog he just realized that all of the power that he had right i'm sure he didn't already knew that he had plenty of power but the whole situation with ftx i mean he is he has been able to confirm how much power that he has just by using uh twitter this is an interesting perspective cz just proved today he's all about one thing his empire he is not here to look out for the industry he deleted the tweet but now as already expected he's exposed himself as a villain so just um one perspective there it was also reported that sam bakeman fried reportedly owns a hundred million stake of elon musk twitter but elon came out and said that that was not the case so let's go ahead and get into the price of bitcoin bitcoin currently sitting at sixteen thousand four hundred and fifty six dollars the weekly chart looks terrible although we see Bit we've seen bitcoin jump a thousand dollars off the double bottom um it really hasn't given us much uh in much more than that uh the weekly chart still looking quite bearish and just not a lot of conviction from the bulls here this is the daily chart here uh let's go ahead and see here daily chart here which has looks like failed to make a higher high um we want to see it hold the low of this candle right here which is 15 485. this right here is a 12 hour chart 12 hour chart is not giving us much um not much volatility here on the weekend as it's a holiday weekend i'm not all that surprised um, I haven't looked at these charts in a few days, to be honest. I just thoroughly enjoyed my time with my family and my friends over the last few days and also got in a ton of soccer. So I'm definitely rooting for USA and Portugal. So I'm just having a grand time watching soccer. I just love getting together with family and cheering on the USA and where our parents are from, Portugal. This right here is a one hour chart on a Bitcoin um, looking very bearish, making lower lows. Take a look here at the 30 minute. So yeah, Bitcoin not really showing too much. Let's see if there's anything on the five minute chart here. Five minute chart, pretty much trading sideways, not giving us much there. So Bitcoin, I would say looking on the neutral two week side, let's take a look here at, at Ethereum. Let's go ahead and zoom out to um, the daily chart here. Huh, interesting. We might get a, we might be um, seeing a little bit more strength from Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Like I said, sometimes Ethereum leads away. So let's go ahead and back up to um, Bitcoin's daily chart. So yeah, the daily chart on Ethereum is actually looking slightly better. So we have gold sitting at 1754. We have Coinbase stock. It closed on the last trading day at 4428. We have Litecoin sitting at 7751. So not just, you know, not a ton of volatility, not a ton of volatility here um, on the weekend. Um, FTT coin sitting at 198. So yeah, that's kind of what we're seeing there. Things have been a little bit more on the quiet side. It's going to be really interesting to see if um, SBF ends up um, speaking at that event, it's insane that he's even given a platform at this point. It's unbelievable that no one has taken him into custody. Um, it's it's quite discouraging to say the least um, at this point. So the whole thing that I mentioned earlier with CZ was that he was kind of implying basic, basically that Coinbase custody does not hold one-to-one -one BTC on behalf of Grayscale. Um, Let's see here. Brian Armstrong just told me that the numbers in the articles are wrong, deleted the previous tweet. Let's work together to improve transparency in the industry. So it kind of just seems like he is just willing to kind of tweet anything, even by not having 100% certainty um, that could ultimately create these situations that are really unfortunate. So he is not done. Absolutely not. CZ is not done. Um, he is. He knows that he has so much control at this point. He has the opportunity in his hands to basically be number one exchange by a mile. So it's very strategic, right? He's not going after small, tiny exchanges, the ones that are probably more vulnerable. He's actually going after the big dogs because he does not want anyone contesting his number one spot. 
as the number one exchange. So that's all that I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. That's all I have for you today. I have not bought back in on Bitcoin because it still looks incredibly weak to me. We're gonna get definitely one more big flush out to the bottom, some capitulation. Things are I anticipate are gonna get much, much uglier. That's all that I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love and have a few links down below if you'd like to support my channel in those ways.